Cindy Ming here, Martial Art World at the Sino-American Commodities, probably one of the largest emporiums of Oriental furniture and Chinese fine art. And I'm here with Grandmaster Lung Ting. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. We saw an interesting demonstration of your style of Kung Fu called Wing Chun. Yes. Very interesting, terrific show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there's a lot in the techniques that I think our audience would like to know about. Um, maybe you can explain a little bit of how Wing Chun began. Okay, I did, um, Wing Chun was supposed to be invented by a woman. Is that right? Yeah, about uh, 350 years ago. Uh, her family name was Yim, and her own name was Wing Chun. So for memory of her, uh, of her creation of this system, so um, we call our own system as the Wing Chun system. Terrific. Now, maybe you can tell us a little bit of the close-in technique. Now, say if it was a woman that my size trying to do this, how is it to my advantage? Okay. Uh, you see, the Wing Chun system is really specialized on practical fighting. And uh, because, you know, uh, as this system is formed by a woman, because, you know, normally the woman cannot fight with the strong man based on uh, force, right? right. So um, that's why we emphasize a lot on just the, you know, the technique. And the, and the close body target right. is uh, uh, our fighting target, okay? Uh, especially to deal with the big guy and strong guy because, you know, our feeling is like that. Uh, no matter how strong he is, no matter how long his arms is, okay, or no matter how long uh, his leg is, just if we get close, so, you know, then the chance will become 50-50. And just we get close because, you know, all the time we are specialized in fighting at a very close distance. So, of course, if we get close, so our chance is even much bigger than our enemy. That's why we use this type of technique. I noticed that they always came back to, your students always came back to this center line yes. and then they were able to get into the target. Maybe right. you can explain to our folks at home about that. Okay, uh, the center line theory is very important in our system. Uh, what we call the center line is supposed to be like that, okay? Um, let's say if we cut a man into two half vertically, okay, this is the vertical midline. And if we cut the man into two half, okay, from the top of the head, mm -hmm. okay, to the top of the legs, and we cut it into two half, then here is what we call the horizontal midline. When two lines meet together, then this is a pawn, right? The cross pawn, we call it the center. And if we face the enemy, okay, face to face, then from his pawn to our pawn, this is the center line. Because, you know, this line is the only shortest line from me to him. So that's why we always use the shortest line to attack and to counterattack. It's also the closest point to the heart, which it, yes. once you get that, right. it's all over, as we right, saw. Right, right. Um, now, how about your own development? Well, how did you start in this particular style um, of Kung Fu? Well, uh, <laughs> Let me put it like this, okay? I studied Wing Chun um, since I was at 13 years old. 13, yes. That time I was very young. And uh, when I was up to 19 years old, then I was accepted by the late Grandmaster Yip Man as his closed door student. According, according to Chinese tradition, uh, what we mean closed door means uh, when a master or grandmaster, okay, after he is retirement, so Chinese say he closed his door, okay? Yes. So after he had closed his door, yes. so he would normally pick up one or two students or yes. maybe a, little, uh, a few students yes. as his own personal students. So I, you know, I was lucky enough I'd become his personal student at that time. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about some of the weapons like we were demonstrating the butterfly knives, mm. right? Okay, maybe you can explain a little bit about how they are what they're used for. Uh, Wing Chun, we have two different types of weapons. The long weapon, we call it the long pole, or the, uh, we entitle it as the six and a half pound long pole technique. Mm -hmm. Okay, because uh, we suppose uh, this type of long pole technique, we have a 
seven, we have seven basic movements. Okay, so we, but we call it six and a half horn, right? But uh, the short knives, actually we don't call it butterfly knife in Wing Chun, we call it bat jam do, or uh, better we call it the um, uh, edge cutting mm -hmm. short knives. Okay, okay. so yeah. because uh, normally we subdivide it into edge session, each session in one form. And uh, for this each session, we norm, um, we deal with different types of weapons, okay? So, uh, like a moment ago, the application I have performed, okay, was, uh, was the tennis from two sessions, okay? So, uh, the first one, I use my double knives, right, to yes. deal with a spear. Yes. Okay. Well, like and spear, yeah. yeah. And later on, the other one was uh, to deal with an uh, overhead bow. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the butter, uh, the pachamto or the winter knife. Okay. Although it looks very simple, but actually, you know, all the movements are very practical and very fatal. All right, Grandmaster Young Ting, thank you so much for being with us today at thank Martial Art World.